data published today showed that China's manufacturing purchasing managers index rose but remained in a contraction territory. This, in turn, heightened concerns of a lower energy demand. Thus, China's Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index rose uh, to 49.4 in August. Notably, the 50-point mark is considered the threshold value between contraction and expansion. And the current value reflects ongoing lockdowns due to the unstable epidemiological situation in the country, as well as the worst hot waves in a decades, which forced the government to introduce restrictions on a power consumption. Given that China is the largest energy consumer, the news exerted downward pressure on the oil quotes. It was also reported that oil output remained unchanged. Even despite the geopolitical tensions caused by the clashes in Libya and Iraq, furthermore, talks on reviving the Iran nuclear deal dragged on them as expected. However, OPEC members are ready to respond to the potential return of Iranian crude to global markets by cutting oil production. According to the Chad brand crude oil, Chad gained a strong upside momentum and reached the level of $105 per barrel, where traders looked in profits on their long positions. As a result, the market saw a decline of about 8% and thus showing signs of a local overheating in the short term. A pullback following a such a significant price change is considered the norm in the market. However, market sentiment is still bearish. Therefore, if the price fixes below $98 on the 4-hour chart, the volume of short positions may increase, ignoring signals that the trading instrument is oversold in the short term. And this is exactly what we are witnessing right now. After a short term pullback, gold futures resumed the downtrend. The yellow metal is likely to extend losses after the price fixes below the $1,720 mark, at least on the fourth chart. Gold prices have been falling for the fifth session in a row, weighed down by reports on the intention of a Fed chair, Jerome Powell, and the number of FOMC members to continue tightening inflation by delivering uh, jumbo-sized interest rate hikes. As for the dollar-ruble pair, things remain unchanged. The quotes are still moving around the level of 60, and in this situation, technical analyst uh, uh, does not work. Thus, uh, traders can only wait and carefully analyze incoming data. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.